Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil in this uh, overview. So uh, while I roll the intern disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar and as you see we have from Zealand on Wednesday uh, the official cash rate, the uh, rate statement and the press, press conference. We have the prelim GDP quarter and quarter for the UK, we have the CPI and core CPI for the US. On Thursday we have employment change and unemployment rate from uh, Australia, we have um, the RBA Governor Lowy speaks and we have uh, the core retail sales and retail sales month to month from the US. Those are the major impact events to keep an eye at for next week. Starting with the short and as usual always with the Dixie, we see that the Dixie did um, find some support once again at this key area where we have the also 1.618 Fib extension for this leg. Uh, and if we look uh, further left, we see that uh, it was um, this level is usually an important uh, key support area and uh, been tested many times previously. And each time uh, we've got uh, strong moves from uh, this support level. So we need to keep an eye on this level for a potential uh, bullish uh, defense. We do have a potential uh, double bottom right now. And the reason I'm saying a potential double bottom that is because we do not see a break of the neckline when the break of the neckline here happened then it is a confirmed double bottom and potentially we gonna see a reversal but as for now it is still a potential double bottom followed by um, some bullish divergence on the RSI so uh, we have a nice bullish divergence here uh, the RSI broke the neckline already and um, uh, that's why um, we're gonna need to watch this level looking on the lower time frame we see that the bounce uh, this time uh, the previous time was the bounce stronger this time the bounce is a little bit slower um, with it not do, it does not have the same momentum so um, could be uh, as I said a start of a reversal but to be more sure about that we need to see a break above previous high if that would be the case and you see the break above previous high then we look for a retest and a continuation for more downside bears have to break below this previous uh, level here the lows of last week and the week before are going to be very important if broken then we're going to see a, a trend continuation which is a, a downside uh, move um, oil still um, same nothing new here we should keep uh, selling uh, 4250 area and the uh, support down here at around um, last week's um, uh, s1 and uh, these uh, structure levels so nothing new on oil keep selling high buying low uh, on this range gold um, we do uh, have uh, a little bit of a retracement now after this parabolic move we should see some kind of a correction to the downside we do have a bearish divergence on the rsi the biggest problem here that we do not have anything uh, looking left to work with as uh, resistance so that's why if you're gonna short gold uh, you need to be careful and you need to wait for those structure change which means we we need to wait for lower lows to start happening and lower highs to start happening to then uh, probably look for a, a uh, some kind of a correction otherwise it is a bullish market and we should buy the dips but after such a parabolic move i'm not interested to buy small dips i want to see a bigger correction and um, <clears throat> what i'm what i'm looking for is at least a correction toward this level and the best would be a correction all the way down toward uh, 1800 area to then start looking for that continuation move usd also failed to break a new high so last week um, we had this uh, attempt to break higher here uh, it couldn't uh, break higher so we have a potential double top here on uh, usd 
uh, whoops let's go back to that as you see potential double top and uh, the neckline is down here so um, last Friday was the um, bearish candle which confirmed a uh, an evening star formation here usually this is a uh, reversal um, signal and we do have a bearish divergence so it could be time to start looking for some correction back down toward uh, this area before the continuation so 1.1450 uh, gonna be an important level to watch for the continuation but short term we could see some kind of a correction as you see the ten trend line was broken the market did close below daily as one and the neckline uh, the important neckline is still here so this swing uh, low here gonna be an important level and if broken then you will see the continuation of this uh, correction move next week sterling same scenario double top uh, up here um, there was a failure again to break higher and uh, we have uh, a, a double top formation and we do have a um, big uh, divergence on the rsi as you see let me put it uh, right so as you see here a strong uh, bearish divergence on the rsi the um, important level here gonna be this neckline so if this uh, got broken we're gonna see a deeper correction on uh, this market back toward these areas this broken level never got tested so it could be the time for that and then maybe a continuation to the upside in the direction of the major trend um, USD JP so we had this um, strong impulse uh, after the retest of um, 104 area down here we have this strong impulse correction or flag and then we had a break of the flag here as you see so uh, this market uh, could um, push higher if especially if the Dixie also gets stronger so after this break to the upside I'm looking for a uh, potential continuation move toward uh, 106.80 ish area and uh, as far as uh, this uh, support is holding if it got retested again you could see one more leg to the upside if this support will hold so keep an eye on this level if retested as well usd chiefs uh, this one also still bearish but also making a double bottom there's a lot of double bottoms and a double tops on the uh, on the on the uh, us dollar um, pairs and um, again all these are early signals i'm not saying that we're gonna see reversals on honor all of them and all that because it is clear if we break this level here we're gonna see a continuation in the main trend but all of them doing a double bottom or a double top with a huge divergence which is an early signal for a reversal that's why i will start watch uh, these markets for that potential reversal while this one we have this impulse here then v-shape formation and this uh, flag now this is a little bit worrying because the move this move here is not um, does not have the same momentum as we had uh, previously so you need to be a little bit worried about it because it could um, simply be a correction or some kind of flag to then uh, give you a break to the downside and uh, potentially a continuation now if this flag breaks you need to still see a break below this level for that continuation to happen so keep that in mind you could see short term bra uh, flag break to then stop at this support level and bounce back up so be uh, you need to be uh, aware about that and usd cat also looking on the daily time frame it is still bearish uh, there is attempts to um, uh, to do a reversal here but the signal is still not there we still have lower lows and lower highs but uh, if you want to be ready for that you need to see a break above this level otherwise if this market fails to make a new high we're gonna see a continuation to the downside somewhere at this area if they fail to break higher while if they manage to break higher then we look for a continuation move uh, on this market as well Aussie USD also failed to make new high last week so looking on the daily time frame uh, you see that we do have a potential double top here as well Friday's candle was a strong bearish engulfing candle and we we do have a bearish divergence on the RSI as well looking on the four hour time frame we see that 
this the last time we reached this level we've got a strong push to the downside failed to break a new high failed to break a new high it broke the neckline here on this double top here the neckline is broken so it's confirmed so we potentially gonna see uh, if we see a lower high happening here we potentially gonna see a continuation move anything below this level here any break below this one will signal a deeper correction on this market for more upside it is very simple you need to see a break above this high as far as these highs are not broken there will not be a continuation higher but if that would be the case then we're gonna see a continuation move and the bulls will get very interested new zealand usd same scenario this one is a little bit of a leading market here there was uh, this time we tested here failed failed again and failed yet again so this support level if broken we're gonna see a continuation move to the downside no more upside here until we see a break above these levels okay so if they break these levels then we may see continuation but uh, this consolidation move now could be um, the important level that we, sh we should watch to look for a break and then continuation to the downside if the break happened so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot see you next week bye bye